what's up automation engineers in this video we are going to talk about modules you know javascript modules and reusable functions let's see how we can use them in cypress so this is the second time i'm creating this video first time my mic was not on unfortunately and i realized that at the end of the video okay um so there is one good news um we got this ticket completed and released into cypress 4.6 release so previously we didn't have something like a source map or you know some kind of a stack race or something like that uh, you know get back to the code whenever this is getting failed even though we got the reason that's not good enough so right now we are getting the code line as well so um, e even though there are so many you know uh, nice looking fancy features you know I don't use this um, history snapshot thing I didn't really use it, so this is really important. No, I don't know why uh, why this took so long to be implemented. This should have been the first thing to implement, in my opinion. But um, anyway, we got the release now. So let's get started. Right now, I got one test, module.test. And uh, I'm going to create another file. Actually, I'm going to create a directory first. Let's call this Google. And inside there, inside the directory, I'm going to create, um, let's call this Google search.js. Now let's open that. I don't think I need this window anymore. Okay, so in my right hand side, I got Google dot, sorry, Google search.js file. And in my left hand side, I got module.test file. Okay, now I'm going to create a variable const name and i'm going to call it assign it google let's say i want to import this variable into my test how do i do that so unlike most of the languages we will have to export something in order to import it and there are two popular methods you know two popular let's say module types in javascript so the first one is common js i think it's um introduced with node.js i'm not sure about that and there is a second one with uh, es 2016 specification uh, es 2016 modules first let's look at um common js modules by the way i prefer es 2016 modules instead of common js so in order to export this one we can do module exports and we, we can assign the variable into this uh, export property. Now let's import that. I'm going to call require method and I'm going to pass the path. Let's see. Uh, right now we are here. In order to access this file, we will have to go back to Cypress directory and all we have to call, come back to Cy support and Google to search uh, Google search file. Now let's go back, go to support, go to Google, go to Google search. Now this require method is going to return whatever the exported stuff. So let's capture that by creating a variable. Let's call this application name. Now we should be able to use that in our test case. Now console, I'm gonna console logout. what is that application name and in the execution we got uh, google printed to the um, console cool now let's say i want to export a function we can do the same thing const um, let's call this print name i'm going to pass an anonymous function arrow function and let's call console log inside this one i'm going to print google again now to export both of these um, stuff, we will have to create a create an object, and I'm going to uh, set the key name and value is name, which is our variable, and we can do the same thing for print name. Value is print name. By the way, when the key and the value is the same thing, you know, same uh, name, we can do something like this um, yep cool now let's see 
right now what we are importing is not the application name so i'll change this to google just google and in the console log i'm going to access name property in google object and let's do actually i don't need this one google dot print name so in the execution we got two logs cool now let's do the same thing but using es2016 modules now with uh, es2016 modules we will not need this one we can just export uh, just like this and to import the same thing let's see let's comment this line out i'm going to do import keyword and what we are importing is let's see uh, let's see how do we import this one so for now i will do import all as google and we need to import it from support google google search okay now when i save this one it should work like before yes we got two console logs cool now there is one more thing we can destruct directly instead of you know importing everything into this google variable i can destruct that let's see i'm gonna remove actually let me comment that line out i'll get a, get a copy then comment that line out so this is how we are going to destruct i'm going to destruct name and print name from whatever the object so we can use name and print name directly without through the google object and we get the two console logs as expected so to cover um yes 2016 modules there is one more thing there's something called default export so we, we can do export default there should be only one default export per file per module so you can you cannot do this twice and we can just assign whatever the thing we need to export let's console log out default export okay now we should be able to import that without destructuring because um it's the default export so we can call it whatever we want so let's call this google search okay now let's use that and we got the default export cool okay now let's create a um, cypress reusable component i'm going to comment these lines out and the import as well let's get a copy from that first oh my god um cool now i should be i'll delete the destruct import then i don't need these two anymore commit them as well all right cool um now what i'm going to do is i'm going to change this default export to take a value and inside the method body i'm going to see why visit let's go to http google.com and um, i'm going to get input what is that name equal q this is going to capture the uh, search input tag you know text box and i'm going to type the value you know passed passed value to this method or function cy contents let's get google search button and click on it so we got our reusable component like this and we are you know uh, dynamically changing some stuff without really hard coding stuff you know value is passed from the test case itself so we should be able to use it uh, like this i'm going to pass iphone now it should google iphone let's see and there we go 
please use JavaScript modules and create reusable components for Cypress and use them inside your test script instead uh, trying to fit everything inside into this test script um, because this way it look clean you know easy to read all that stuff so this is it for this video thanks for watching have a nice day